One of the number one questions I get on my Instagram and through email is how to sharpen a knife. Uh, and one of the most important things to consider about sharpening a knife is edge geometry. Uh, a lot of people come to me and they tell me they don't know how to sharpen or they suck at sharpening, but then they hand me the knives they're trying to sharpen. And honestly, they almost have no shot. Um, if a knife is super, super thick on the edge, you're going to probably need to go to a belt grinder or have a professional kind of rework that edge. Um, a nice thin edge geometry uh, gives you a chance to actually kind of work that steel on the stone. When you're doing a sharpening, you're actually removing steel from the blade. Uh, so that, that's kind of the number one thing. Also, people talk about how hard a blade is. If that blade's way too hard, it's like, it's like trying to sharpen a diamond. You just can't cut it with an average stone. Um, so let's say we've got a, a knife that's got pretty nice edge geometry, but we've just kind of lost that, that hair shaving edge. Uh, when it comes to angle, people always tend to ask about angle. You know, kind of depends on, on the purpose. If it's a, if it's a chef's knife or it's, if, if it's a chopper, uh, chopping down trees, it's going to be a different angle. I kind of like that 20, 25 degree angle for an average hunting knife. Um, so the number one thing you want to do when you're sharpening is establish a burr. Establish your burr first. So we're going to go backwards on this edge from, from and, and as far as stones, this is a water stone. You can use water stones, oil stones. I, I don't really care. Um, we start here and we come backwards. And we just keep working backwards one pass at a time until we get to a point after five or six passes or maybe 10 passes, depending on what kind of shape the blade's in, you'll feel backwards here and you'll feel for a burr. And like right now, I can already feel a little bit of a burr here, but I'm missing it right here. And I'm missing a little bit there. We just keep working back the whole length of that edge, trying to raise that burr first. Okay, now if your edge is in really bad shape and you do have one of those heavy knives that needs a lot of work, you may have to use a stone that's really aggressive, maybe like a 220 grit or a 320 grit stone. This blade's not in bad shape. This is actually a thousand grit stone right here. Uh, for touch up, it's great. So now I've established that burr. I can feel it all the way down. I'm gonna go back the other direction, nice and firm. Again, I'm pushing pretty hard. And I just keep working it the whole length of that. Now, if you have an area that's really like, you know, is in really bad shape, you can sit there and kind of work that area first here. Okay, and now we've worked that. Now we can kind of balance that out, work that whole length. Okay. Now I can actually see that burr raising. So now I'm feeling that other side and I got a nice burr all the way down. And if you feel this side, there's nothing. It's just going to be smooth burrs all on this side. So now we need to kind of balance that out. So we're gonna alternate strokes this way and then back. And again, I'm still using a fair amount of pressure. Okay, so now if I think, and you can feel it in the stone and you can feel the feedback from the blade that it's giving you, the resistance you're getting. I'm feeling pretty even here. So now I'm gonna start lightening my pressure up. And you can hear it in the stone, I'm not pushing as hard. And now towards the end here, I am just basically the weight of that blade kind of stropping it back and forth on that, on that stone. Okay. So now we've worked that thing back and forth and it's good to take a strop and have it maybe in a vise for you here. Um, you can use a strop or a leather belt or if you have a buffing wheel or something like that. But you go backwards here and you strop off that wire edge. You got a little bit of a wire on that edge. You can just kind of work back and forth and you can see the scratches in the strop from that wire. The other way is maybe just a little bit smoother. I don't, I don't have quite the scratches that I have this way. Those more scratches there. Just keep working it. When you think about an edge, you have to think about a saw. And it depends on the, 
on the function of the knife, but like for a hunting knife, I want an edge that's gonna rip and cut at the hair. It's gonna bite at the hair. So when I'm going through hair or through hide, I've got little micro saw teeth ripping through that hide, ripping through that hair. If it's a chef's knife, it might be a little bit uh, finer edge where maybe I'm just pushing through more like a razor blade. You have me a piece of paper. So what you can do now that we've done a little bit of stropping is you can take a piece of paper and you can kind of test that edge and saw down through it here. And if you have a spot that's hanging up, maybe like right here, it'll, it'll, it'll catch. You kind of work through and then it goes again. So until you can get where that thing goes right through really nice, you know you got maybe a little spot and maybe it's just a strop or maybe we gotta go back to the stone and clean that little spot up. But right now, this knife's cutting real nice. Uh, this is with a thousand grit. The other side of this work sharp stone is a 6,000. So if I was making more of, a, of an edge for a kitchen, I might go to that 6,000 grit side and buff that down on that 6,000 grit stone, which is more of, it's reducing the size of those little micro teeth. Um, but this thousand grit edge right here is very aggressive. And I don't know if you'll be able to catch it on the video, but also, you know, it's, it's decent at shaving hair. Um, it's popping hair right off, no problem. So that's a quick little video on how to sharpen a knife.